Let's say you're given these two compounds, and right now you have to figure out if they're stereoisomers or not. So we look at our list of criteria. It has to fill and notice that it needs to have the same molecular formula. Well, if we count here, one, two, three, four, five, it has five carbons, a chlorine, and then remember there's hidden hydrogens over here, so there's three, six, eight, ten, eleven. So the formula we have for this compound is C5H. 11 C L and then we go over here one two three four five one chlorine and then let's see three six eight ten eleven so we do indeed have the same molecular formula let me fix this C and make it look better okay and then we have to look at the connectivity notice how all these are single bonds and then notice how this chlorine and this specific hydrogen over here is both connected to carbon 2 if we label this carbon one. so carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 carbon 4 carbon 5 notice how this chlorine and this hydrogen are both attached to this specific carbon number two and then we also have the same thing over here so they do indeed have the same connectivity now if we analyze their orientations in space notice how there is there's something funky going on because this chlorine is pointed towards me and this chlorine is pointed away from me and this hydrogen is pointed away from me but over here it's pointed towards me so they do indeed have this have different orientations in space and because of that they are indeed stereo isomers. Now remember that stereo isomers have this thing called stereo centers and let me write that here stereo centers stereo centers. Now what are stereo centers exactly? Basically what stereo centers are is a center where the orientations around the atom in question, so the atom in question is this carbon number two here, the orientations around it are different. The, well, the atom, is, the orientation of the atom around it is different. So I'm just going to put this here to know that they are, st these, these are stereo centers. And remember the, the original, if we, if we didn't do this, the stereo chem business, It would look something like this, and these are the two structures that we get. Okay, now let's say that you're given this. Pretend you don't have this right now. Pretend you are only given this, and you're ordered that you need to find out how many structures you can draw. Well, the mathematical, we could use a mathematical formula known as 2 to the n. This formula over here, and n being the number of stereo centers excuse my penmanship it's number of stereo centers so since we only have one stereo center right here it's two to the one so it is two structures and and later on we'll find out that some of these structures are actually identical so you'll actually get lower than two to the n but for now two to the n number of different structures all right, let's go on to the next topic, which is chiral centers. Now, chiral centers are a subset of stereo centers. Oh, before I go on to that, there's something I have to address. The deal with double bonds or alkenes. What's going on with alkenes over here? Well, if we, ha if we compare these two alkenes, these are both alkenes, but they are different. Notice how this methyl group is pointed opposite from this methyl group, so it would be called trans. It would be called trans. Now this one is pointed in the same direction as this one, so it would be cis. Now from this we can say that alkenes also are also a, are also considered stereocenters. So when you're computing this 2n, make sure when you're counting the number of n that if it has an alkene in it, it counts towards it, along with the other stereocenters that it already has. And, and we might go over an example later on. But for now, remember that alkenes are stereocenters. Now, within stereocenters, there's this subset called chiral centers. Chiral centers. Chiral centers. And chiral centers are stereocenters because it is a subset of stereos. Of, 
of stereo centers. But stereo centers doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a chiral center. Let's just get that point across. Because chiral centers, I, chiral centers are basically everything but the alkene, uh, alkene configurations. It's, I don't think the alkene configurations are included in the group of chiral centers. It only has the as has the uh, four different atoms connected to the one atom as, as we have over here. So chiral centers have this thing called R and S. Now how do we how do we find out if a if a stereo or a chiral center is R or S? Well let's let's take a look at well let's just use this for example. Okay. So to, to know if it is either R or S, we have to find out the lowest priority of atom around the, the atom that we're currently looking at. So this is the atom we're currently looking at, and we look at the things around it. So we have a chlorine, a carbon, a carbon, and a hydrogen. And out of those four, the lowest priority is... The lowest priority is... Let me use, let me use a different color. The lowest priority is this. So we assign it 4. This hydrogen will be pointed backwards and it, since it's already pointed backwards we don't really have to do anything. So let me redraw this over here in, in orange. Let me do this. And there's a chlorine over here. So this chlorine is pointed towards us. Let me uh let me use the right color here. It's this color. Okay, so remember that the hydrogen is pointed away from us. So we basically what we have to do is we just have to ignore it. Just ignore it for now. So from here we only have the three the three different atoms around the stereo center, which is over here. This is the stereo center, remember. And then we, we're ignoring the hydrogen. So then we go on to labeling to assigning priority. And a priority goes based on ascending atomic, the highest atomic number gets the, the highest priority. So we know that chlorine has the highest atomic number, so we assign that one. Now notice here that this is a carbon and this is a carbon. They're both carbons, they have the same atomic number. So what to do next is to, you have to look at the atoms that are connected to the carbon. So notice that this carbon is attached to this carbon is attached to, let me use a different color, to three hydrogens. But this carbon is attached to a carbon and then two hydrogens. So we have two hydrogens coming here and then this chlorine over, I mean this carbon over here. So therefore, the next highest priority atom would be this one. Due to the fact that the things connected to it have higher priority because of this carbon. This carbon carbon is attached to another carbon while this carbon is only attached to three hydrogens. Therefore out of the three this would have the lowest priority. So therefore we have assigned all the numbers so we count one two three it's going clockwise or to the right so we assign this R and R stands for it stands for rectus but but I don't use rectus because when, when, when having a conversation with someone, if you say the word rectus, they'll think you're weird. So I use R. R. Also, you can also think R for, for right because it's, it's spinning towards the right. Okay. Next, we have this over here. And notice how the hydrogen is pointing towards us, but the chlorine is pointed away from us. But remember, we want the lowest priority atom to point away from us. Remember that the hydrogen is 4. So, an easy way to do this... Well, there's two ways to do this. Let me show you both ways. Let me redraw this over here. chlorine and then the hydrogen. Uh, one way to do it is you can actually you can actually spin it around spin it around spin it around this this bond so this hydrogen will go back this 
this carbon would go over here and then this chlorine would come over here. So what that would look like, it would look like something around the structure of, um, remember that the hydrogen would be pointed away and then what would happen is this chlorine is going over here where where it's in plane with the rest of the compound so this chlorine would be over here and then we would have this 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 methyl group pointed towards us so let's write ch3 okay so now we finally have the lowest priority atom pointed away from us so remember that since it's the lowest priority we could we could uh, temporarily ignore that. So then we have, we have, we have this ordeal over here, CH3, and then CL. So now we have to assign priority, and, and in the previous example I already did that. Remember this chlorine is 1, and then this is 2, because it's connected to this carbon while when we're comparing this one and this one this one was com connected to a carbon while this one is only connected to three hydrogens over here so this gets three so this is pointing this is going oh sorry this is going the other way this is going counterclockwise or towards the left because it's spinning towards the left and if it is spinning towards the left it is called sinister or s now, generally, you don't use the word sinister for to designate S. So, therefore, I personally, I call it Southpaw. Now, for those left-handers, you probably know what Southpaw means. So, if it's pointing, if it's going towards the left, you can call it S. If it's going towards the right, you can call it R. Now, I said before that there are two ways you can, you can switch this to make it look like this. And I will show you right now. So if you have, let's say, the original, what was the original? It was something like that. Okay. So let me get my original, let me get my original structure over here going on. We have that, and then we have this chlorine, this hydrogen. So remember that when assigning RNS, we want the lowest priority atom pointed towards the back pointed towards the back but since this hydrogen is pointed towards us so the uh, it's the opposite of what we want let me let me let me number these two three since it is the opposite of what we want we can actually when assigning rns we could do the opposite so if, so if we if we just uh, remember we're ignoring the lowest priority atom so if we assign this right now we would have we would have R normally, but since this low, the lowest priority atom is pointed towards us, it's not pointing away from us, that's what we want, but since it's pointing towards us, we can just do the opposite of R, which is S. So therefore, this, this stereo center would be the S configuration. And remember that we double checked it over here because this was also this was also S.